Hi everyone, this is Asma Khalid from Cyber Panel and in today's video we are going to be learning about a brand new feature of Cyber Panel which is a WordPress manager. So with WordPress manager everything is being very easy for you guys. It's going to be super interesting for you to check it out and it has a lot of features that are available on just one screen and without further ado let's just jump straight to the video and check out each and every one of those features. Okay guys, so as you know that uh, deploying WordPress server has always been an issue with many control panels, but with Cyber Panel, we have our very own brand new WordPress management uh, manager. So what you can do is simply go into WordPress that will appear on your left hand side menu, click on that and click on deploy WordPress. So before this, you needed to create a website and then install your WordPress. Now you can do it all in one go. So just simply go into this page and enter your required information. And after that, so you need to uh, enter all of your required information so with automatic updates you have disabled all minor and major and minor and security updates you can just disable this one plugins update enable themes updates enable i'll show you later where this uh, where this will appear so click on create website and your wordpress site will be created for you Okay guys, so once your WordPress site has been created, you can just simply go into WordPress and click on list WordPress to come to this page. So on this page, you will be able to see all your deployed WordPress sites. You can visit them by just clicking on visit and it will take you directly to your site like this. Also, you can delete your uh, WordPress sites right from this page. You don't have to go to some other page and then select your site, find your site and then delete it. You can just do it with one click on the same page. So by clicking on the WordPress site title, you will be redirected to the WordPress manager for this page. Now, this is an amazing, amazing tool, guys. So you have every bit of information and every bit of action that you want to conduct on your WordPress site present on one manager. So you have like many cascading, uh, you can say tabs over here and each in each tab, there's another set of information. I'm going to go through them one by one and I'll explain to you what every feature on that tab will represent. Okay guys, so starting from the general tab, you have the button of open. Now this is a one button access. Simply click on that and you will be redirected to your website. So you don't have to enter your URL or anything. It's just one click and you will be redirected to your site. Next is your file manager. Now, so with WordPress manager, it's going to give you access to the root files of your WordPress site. You don't have to have any plugins or any other stuff you only have to click on your file manager and you will be redirected to the public html of your basically the root files of your wordpress sites you can access them over here so that's a very neat feature next is your login so many a times you forget your password so you can just simply click on that and it will auto login uh, for you and once it's done you will be redirected to the dashboard of your WordPress site. So that, this is actually a very neat feature. So if you even forget your password, your credentials, you only come to your WordPress manager and click on login and you will be uh, given access to your dashboard. So that's a really neat feature. Next is the Git manager. Now this is a good feature if you are working with a developer team and you need information to be traded off. So Git manager is over there to help you guys in any information. So these four buttons are very crucial and they represent everything you want to do with your WordPress site. Okay, so next is it's also showing you your WordPress version, your PHP version even for your site. Next is your LS cache. Now, as you know, with Cyber Panel, you get LS cache by default. You can, of course, always disable LS cache by simply clicking on this button. 
but it's such a versatile plugin it's so beneficiary for your uh, websites that it's always better to enable this so you can do this on this manager with just one click next is the debugging if you want uh, debugging to be conducted for your wordpress uh, sites database you can just simply click on that and it will start debugging your site Next is your search engine indexing. So this is a good feature uh, simply for your indexing, for create, uh, you know, bettering your uh, SEO. So it's a good feature for that. Next is the maintenance mode. So for example, if you want your uh, to work or maintain or repair your WordPress site, so simply click on that and your WordPress site will automatically be converted into the maintenance mode. Okay, so in the same way, you can disable your WP Chrome. Just simply click on this little button and your WP Chrome will be automatically be disabled. By clicking on this, you it will be enabled. So again, it is all being done for you on WordPress Manager. You don't have to go to any other page. It's simply one click away. Everything is one click away. Now, very important, you have your password protection over here. So for example, if you have multi-sites and some of any one of those multi-site has some um, crucial information and you want it to be password protected, this is the uh, you know, button for you. Simply click on that and enter your username, enter your password, and your site is going to be password protected, basically. Okay. So now if I try to open it, it is going to require your username and your password. So it is a really neat feature to add that extra layer of security. And again, it is being done for you right on your WordPress manager. So as you can see, it is protecting your WordPress site. In the same way, by just clicking on this little button, your password protection will be off. So that's the general tab for you. Okay, so now let's check out the plugin tab. So when you cl click in plugin, it is going to show you the list of all the plugins that are available to you. The start of each plugin is going to show you whether they are activated or not. So these are installed and this is going to show you whether they are activated or not. So right now, Lightspeed Cache is activated. And by only clicking on this little button, it is going to deactivate your plugin. In the same way, you, you would know that which one of these are up to date and which one of these need updation. So right now, I can see that this little plugin needs updation. So by clicking on update, it's going to update my plugin automatically. In the same way, I can delete my plugin right from a WordPress manager instead of going into my dashboard and then messing around with the plugins, I can just simply click on this and delete my plugins instantaneously. In the same way, like plugin, you will go into themes and you're going to say the same information, but in regard of themes. So there are, so for example, right now we I have four themes installed, but only one theme activated in the same way. If I want to activate some other theme, I can do that over here as well. Again, I can update my themes, I can delete my themes right in this information. Like right now, it's right in front of you. You don't have to go into the dashboard and mess around with information. You can do it all with your WordPress manager. Next is the staging tab. So when you click on your staging tab, you will be able to see that you can create your own staging tab. So for example, if you want to try out a new plugin, a new theme, a new feature, or you just want to test the current site, what you can do is you can create a staging site and then do your maintenance, your repairs, your feature checking on that site so that you don't mess with the actual site. And th this little feature is super uh, cool, especially for those who want, uh, who are really into web development. Next is the backup. Now, this is a very crucial and very important feature. So right from your WordPress manager, you can create backups. So instead of making copies of files and making copies of database, you can just come onto your WordPress manager, click on this little tab, you can create backup for website and database both, or only websites or only database. And once you click that, click on create backup, and your backup is going to be created. Now, if you want to check out your 
backup file simply click on restore backups so just a second it's just taking a little second okay guys so once your backup is created if you want to restore backups you don't have to go and start copying information you only have to click on restore backups and it's going to redirect you to this page and it's from here you can check out that okay this is my staging site and this is the database I just created. So if I want to restore it, I can only click on restore and my uh, backup is going to be restored. My site is going to be restored to that backup. I can also delete my backups directly from here. Okay, so that's the backup tab for you. And lastly, I have database tab. So this is really cool tab. What it does is it's going to give you your database name, your database username and your table prefix. So you can click on your database name and it is going to redirect you automatically to to the php my admin page and from here you will be able to see the database of your site right on the php my admin so it's going to take a couple of seconds so right it's right over here so right now i know that my database name is nsbu so right from here i can check out that this is my Database, I can click on it and I can do whatever I want to write on my PHP, my admin. I can restore my uh, basically database tables. I can repair them. I can optimize them right on my PHP, my admin. So you can access that by simply clicking on your database name. You don't have to go to any other page. So previously you need to go to this list and find database and then click on PHP my admin and then you never knew what your database name was. So you could you won't be able to find your site. So right now every information is right in front of you and you can just simply click on it and it will redirect you to the PHP my admin page. Next is you right underneath you will be able to see these three buttons. Now these are very cool buttons. Uh, the number one is manage application. So once you click on it, it will take you to the manage application page of your site. From here, it will give you more options to check out, which was previously added in websites and then list websites. And against those list uh, website, you will uh, check your manage application. Right now, it's all in front of you in your WordPress manager. So it's only one click away. You don't have to go into any other things. Next is auto update configuration. So you, by just clicking on this button, it's going to auto update all the configurations for your WordPress site. So you don't have to go and check out each and every one of them. You can just click on, click on it and everything will be done for you. Lastly, the security button. So by clicking on security, and clicking on data integrity is basically going to give you the status, which is success, WordPress installation verifies against checksums. So it's going to show, it's basically showing me that there are no errors on my WordPress site. But if there are errors, I can always click on reinstall WP code and it's going to reinstall all the code files of, or the default files of a WordPress site uh, into my uh, WordPress site eliminating any kind of errors that I might be facing. So this is the WordPress manager. That is a new feature of cyber panel. And I hope this is as much interesting for you as it was for us creating it. And everything is super simple with our manager. Everything is super creative. Everything is super straightforward for you guys. And if you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe Cyber Panel.